When it comes to art, one of the skills you absolutely need to master is most definitely anatomy. And despite it sounding like a medical term, anatomy is a very artistic course, actually, and an important one. Thankfully, and as any other skill, anatomy is a teachable one, and therefore something you can learn and master with effort and perseverance. In this video, we'll make sure you leave with a full understanding of the three W's, the what, why, and when of anatomy, and a bonus little how to get all of that into practice. Per definition, anatomy is the study of bodily structure. Here, we take interest in how each part of the body comes together, connects with each other, its size, its shape, its natural way of bending, and all the muscly, bony, fatty, and even veiny little details attached to it. As an example, let's talk about the hand, one of the biggest artist's pet peeves. Understanding the anatomy of the hand is understanding that it's composed of two major parts, the palm and the fingers. The palm is a trapezoidal form, with five fingers of mostly the same thickness but a different length attached to it. The fingers may bend onward toward the palm, but have a limited bending backward. The palm is approximately as long as the middle finger, and the two of them constitute the hand, which is as long as the face. Is it a veiny hand? What about the nails? Is it a manly hand? A feminine one? All of these questions are related to anatomy, and answering them is a little step further in getting better at it. Why is it needed? Let's address this once and for all. This is not a mistake. This is my style. Ever heard of this? Well, it's an overdated and overused excuse to justify still deformed, unnatural, and plainly bad drawings. Bad anatomy is not a style, and correcting your drawings is impossible if you don't know what's wrong with them. At some point, you need to be aware of how the body comes together, and you can only do that by learning anatomy. Mastering it has two main purposes, correctness and variation. Correctness is seeing a drawing and not wondering why the leg is the same size as the arm, and starting from the thoracic cage. Correctness allows you to give that natural feeling to anyone looking at your work. Variation, on the other hand, is being able to draw different body types while still keeping them anatomically correct. A body can be fat, thin, muscular, short, tall, amputee, or even a zombie. Whatever you need to draw, you'll be able to do it. Alright then, well when I need to start? If you draw people, animals, and even monsters, now is the only acceptable answer. Anatomy is the foundation you need to build the rest of your skills on. No figure drawing of yours will be ever complete without some notion of anatomy. Realistically speaking, it's not a day's journey that we're looking at, but a long-term one, and not the easiest, so to speak. It can be difficult and boring at times, but don't give up, the results are worth it. Obviously, you won't need to be a professional at it to start drawing, but you'll also have to accept that your drawings may be flawed without it. Now, how can you practice anatomy? All of the understanding of the what part must be simplified and rendered in paper. The final purpose being you making the most accurate and natural drawing possible. This is not a theoretical skill, but one you need to practice. So, from the moment you take your pencil, the steps are as follows. Observe, simplify, draw, and try to memorize. Breaking down the shapes of any bodily part is where you start when drawing anything. The head, a simple circle associated with a triangle. The male torso, a rectangle. Its size, three times the head. Reflections like these must become instantaneous, and to achieve that, you should look at as many different photos as you can, and try to break them down and rebuild them into drawings. We'll never say it enough, it's an absolute must to learn and master. So take a deep breath, because you'll need it, take your drawing tools because you can't do without it, a random photo to observe, and let the journey begin. Read books about it or watch tutorials like this one. Whatever it takes to master anatomy. These were our advice when it comes to anatomy. Care to share your thoughts? Then please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe too. Turn the notifications on and hit that like button. 
with that being said thank you for watching as always and see you next time